Rap start. Nerd. Nerd. Copyright Nerd. strike. Surprisingly, didn't get one for the last one. <laughs> Um, wasn't a disturbed song. No. They don't care about hurts. Well, most of it's drowned out from the pipe. Yeah. That, well, thanks for sticking around. The show. Yeah. <laughs> and so you brought um, Shivers. Shivers. David Cronenberg. Yes. I was about to say it was reminding me of a James Gunn movie. One, <laughs> yeah, there were a couple parts. Yeah, so. uh, the one with the, all the worms and stuff. I forgot what it was called. Oh, oh, uh, uh, Slither. Slither. Yeah. I was, I was, I was thinking it was gonna have kind of like those vibes. I was like, maybe this is where Slither, because uh, I was thinking Slither was a remake of this, but I, I haven't watched it for. So. No, no it's not. there's not any of the no. uh, sex craze yeah. kind of thing in it. <laughs> Slither. It's just slugs attacking people burning their skin when they feel like it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is 1977. Oh, I think it's Cronenberg's first movie. If not, it's one of his first. Yeah. And it's uh, slug monsters. Yeah. Infect people. Make, make them em. kind of horny sometimes. I mean, you see some weird shit at the <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it ramps up at the end, but some of the people just sort of get sick and act weird. They yeah. don't really do anything. Like our main guy that gets sick. I don't even, you can't even call him the main guy. He's just a guy. Was it, yeah, it wasn't like, I guess they were trying to make the doctor the main dude, but yeah. you see him sometimes and gives a good punching. Got the Ross from Friends yeah. Ross with Adam Driver. That's a in insurance sales dude. And can't really figure out what's going on with him besides he's cheating on his wife. He, yeah, yeah. So we so the setup of this movie. There's this. There's an island, and then there's this big apartment complex, like condos on this island. You got your doctors in there. You got your shops. In yeah, there. they've got their own. Dentist and doctor and their own store. You never have to leave this condo right. complex ever. No reason to. So it's supposed to be this high end kind of place. And then as we're seeing that being introduced, we see this old dude just strangle and murder this girl. I thought I thought it was, was a boy at first. Oh, I knew it was a girl. I was like, this has got to be a 12 year old girl. She looked very young. Yeah. But later on, they're like, no, she's 19. I mean, we see some <laughs> some panties and a little bit of bush and some titties, so yeah. she better have been 19. That's all I'm saying there, Mr. Cronenberg. There was a film that did have an underage girl that was naked. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's, a a few. Thing. there's yeah. quite a few of those. Yeah. Very, very odd. But Somehow, being artsy, you get around the, yeah. that. Yeah. It doesn't laws. make sense. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. But we digress. Yes. This so this there's this old guy. He kills this chick, strips her naked, puts her on the kitchen table, <laughs> cuts her open, starts cutting her open, pours pours soy sauce into her stomach, and then he fucking cuts his own throat. And we're like, why? Yeah. Some weird. And that's weird all we stuff. see. Yeah, we have no idea. And then <laughs> our insurance salesman guy is walks in. He leaves his wife Yeah, at her apartment. Goes up. Goes up. <laughs> to this apartment. It's like, oh, hey, how's it going? what's going on? Where are you hiding? And then he just turns and sees her yep. cut open on the table. And then he just leaves. Leaves and goes to work. Yep. Good thing to do. Yep. Want no part of that. But we're starting to see that he's sick. He's acting weird. Yeah. It's like stomach's bothering him. He just sort of sits and stares. Yeah. And, and his wife... It's kind of weird to me. I guess they were having marital problems. Yeah. Yeah, because she's like freaking out all well, the she's time. She's worried taking, about him you know, and stuff. Yeah. Because like one of the scenes in it, she's like, I guess wanting to spend time with him. And then when he wants to spend time with him, she's freaking out. Oh, my God. Oh, like when he wants to get it on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he was acting pretty fucking weird. <laughs> He's just like, make love to me. To, he's like, I need to be one with you. I need to make love. I need to make love. Let us make love. 
down on the bed right here. Let right me put now. my contacts in first. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, it was weird. It was definitely weird. What do you say? Do you want to do these shots? Yeah, let's do it. Worked up the courage. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, God damn. <laughs> <laughs> it never goes down so I just had one of those things crawled out my fucking throat. Oh. One of those burning slurs. Punch you right in the face. <laughs> yeah, that was a good scene. That was Yeah, that was my favorite scene. <laughs> so we have the doctor. And the doctor has started to notice there are people that have their... They're having these weird stomach things. Stomach lumps, yeah. <laughs> and there was an old guy that was like, I don't know, I was with this young, hot chick. And she had the lumps. I thought they were sexy. And now yeah. I have them. What? what? It's like, that's weird. Yeah. I, I don't understand that. Like, yeah. You got moving lumps. Ooh, that, that, that's that turns me off. Yeah. 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 There's nothing going wrong there. <laughs> <laughs> I want to poke them. Yeah. Poke them with my dick. <laughs> Yeah, that I mean, you know, I don't know. He was an old dude. I guess. He knows, yeah. Who knows he, what gets you? Gets he was on the at that age. cusp of death, I guess, <laughs> at that age. <laughs> the haggard cusp of death. Yeah, the people Super in the seventies. Yeah, they didn't live that long. <laughs> Ripe old age of forty, he was <laughs> killed right away. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but like. Um, my one of my favorite things in it was the doctor was always trying to get rid of the nurse. Right. Throughout the whole movie. So we have I decided she's hot. I went with hot. You went with hot? She can be she's in certain skinny. lighting. She's very skinny, yeah. but almost too skinny. But. Yeah. But yeah, he his nurse and she's got the the stereotypical hot nurse outfit. Yeah. So. And then he's talking on the phone at the end of the shift, you know, work day's over. He's talking with this other professor guy, and she's like, how about a kiss? Uh, how about another kiss? Uh, all right. He's like, uh, yeah. <laughs> how, about, how about you come over to my place later? Uh, I got some things to yeah. do. Uh, <laughs> she fucking strips down in front of him and changes her clothes. <laughs> she's got those hot fucking hot things. <laughs> That's puffy great, nipples. great body. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know about puffy. Nipples. Oh, I like it. I'm down you like with the, the puffy. Puff. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure about puffy nipples. <laughs> Got a good body, but yeah, certain lighting that face though. I don't. I don't. Know. I don't know. It's a very angular face. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah very sharp features. Yes. But uh, yeah, he keeps turning her down. <laughs> And then he literally pawns her off on these old people because yes. a slug, one of the, the slugs, attacks the lady and jumps on her arm. Yeah. And then it's the, we, this is where we discover, okay, sometimes these sex slugs burn people. Whenever they feel like, I guess. So they just yeah. jumped on her, they burned her, and he's like, they're like, help doctor. What do you think? He's like, oh, well, she's a nurse. Oh, yeah. Right before that, yeah. she about got raped by one of these infected Oh, right. People. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and she forgot. tells him this. I forgot. And they're like, okay, well, let's, let's get and out. He and he pods her off on yeah. the old people. <laughs> it's just like, it's like, you go with them. Yeah. Bandage them up and stay with them. So can you ever not be a pain in my ass? <laughs> just leave. <laughs> <laughs> All she ever wants is my dick. I can't stand it. God damn. Give me one day of peace, doctor. <laughs> a doctor, not an inseminator. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, yeah. When, uh, yeah, we found out, like, well, we don't know where exactly. No, they kind of went into a little bit about where the parasites came from. Yeah, the one doctor, the, the other yeah. guy, the super deep voice, just explains the whole movie. Yeah, he's like, uh, he, he's something like, about organisms. He's like, sex. No, he goes, yeah, you know that first guy you saw in the movie that killed the girl then killed himself? Yeah, he was this crazy doctor that didn't believe, he thought there was a better way than just organ transplants. His idea yeah. was he could make a parasite that would crawl into your body, and let's say you had a bad kidney. It would eat your kidney, and then it would replace it. Yeah. That was the idea. 
And then he's like, by the way, it didn't work out. Instead, it makes you into a sex crazed maniac. <laughs> So if you see anything so, weird, yeah, if you see anybody act weird, be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Click. <laughs> and then that's after that phone call. That's when everybody actually starts to get weird because it's a pretty slow build up yeah. in this movie. It, it just it really drips out the stuff to you. It yeah. the, the last quarter of it, it, it picks up a lot, and I love that stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, another thing, too, they just kind of glossed over, like, the doctor and then the 19-year-old, the backstory to that. Oh, he felt her up she was 12. Yeah, while she was 12, and he's like... He was doing oh, a breast cancer yeah. exam, and she was 12. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> You're like, oh, all right. It was, it was just this thing. Yeah, nothing wrong. It's all right. Since we're on that topic <laughs> of Hollywood, James Gunn... <laughs> There is a scene where, which one? Let's see. The well, they're, I think they're, it's the same girl. So basically, you've got so this whole thing now. These parasites have spread throughout the building. Yeah. They spread throughout the building because this first chick had banged like half a dozen, dozen dudes. Yeah, that nineteen-year-old is the, the the one that got murdered. Yeah. In the beginning. She is the one that gets around at that apartment. She, she infected a bunch of dudes, and then those dudes then infected a bunch of other people. And then there's a scene when shit starts to go crazy where you've got a mom and a daughter, like a 12 year old girl, yeah. 11, 12 year old on the on the uh, elevator, and then the dude, this the cra- one of the sex crazed dudes, <laughs> runs into the elevator. Yeah. Clearly, they don't really show it, but he jumps on the mom while the girl's watching. He yeah. basically rapes the mom. Yeah, it's pretty clear. Uh, yeah, I mean that's definitely. What she had like ice cream, maybe. It was like a weird cake, thing. something. Yeah, and then it, you know the doors close, and we don't see them for a while. But then later on, we see the doors open, and then they go after security guy and the kid. All three of them. So all three of the kid, the mom, and this dude are all infected now. And then you see the the mom and the dude tackle the security guard. And then the, the girl, while they're holding this guy down, basically dry humping him, yeah. the girl comes around and just starts making out uh, with the guy. Uh, it was so gross. You know, dude. it was... Uh, yeah. And I, I honestly, I give him props for going there. <laughs> <laughs> For taking something over the edge, yeah. you know what I mean? Because the movie... It needed something. The movie yeah, promised more I than guess. it delivered, yeah. you know what I mean? And from the shit we've seen yeah. at this point, it's like... It hints at more than it actually shows. Yeah. In that scene, you're like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does make you feel a little uncomfortable. And then when the doctor's running around at the end, he, he's going through the stairwell, and like the door opens up where he's about to go through this door... There's oh. two kids on the dog leash. There's two girls oh. on leashes. He just looks around goes, the corner. Nope. And it just, just, just goes the other way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was... I made a joke about hentai. And there was this anime, and it wasn't even hentai. It was, um... You would say, like, M.A. rated. Yeah. But... God damn it. I can't remember what it was called, but it used to be on Netflix, but... It was this guy. It was Speed Grapher. Speed okay. Grapher. Yeah. It was this guy who was a photographer, and then there was, I can't remember the story overall, but there were these rich elite dudes, mm-hmm. and they were there was this scene where they're gathered in this mansion, and they've just got all these girls on leashes, and they're just riding them around, <laughs> like on their backs, and they're like whipping them <laughs> as they're. So it's these like gross old fat guys, and they're on these girls' backs, and they're just like, yeah. And these girls are like, ah. <laughs> they're just riding around in circles in the mansion. <laughs> so it made me think of that. But this was worse because those were actual girls. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. Is definitely worse. Or just needs you walk around like a dog. I mean, like, yeah, this is an allegory about Hollywood. 
Yeah. This is the depravity of Hollywood. That's what it, it made me think. It, yeah. It definitely made me think. I, I definitely, definitely see that for sure. <laughs> yes. It's all the fucked up shit that's going on, and you guys are going to be cool with it for about the next 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm like, this is one of Cronenberg's first movies. He's not even into Hollywood yet. He's not even seen all the nastiest shit, right? Oh, no. Like, they, everybody he's, knew about it. He's not gone deep yet. Everybody spoke about it. Yeah. Yeah. Not, it's not like the said. I'm gonna go in hard. Yeah, <laughs> he must have gotten co-opted, man. Yeah, probably got co-opted. Yeah. Oh, Ivan Repin, Repin helped produce this. He's yeah. a producer. He's he's been in a bunch of stuff, so he's been in Hollywood a long time. So he might have. Maybe might have, he's yeah. banged a lot of kids. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that, Hayden. I'll be able to watch what Ghostbusters. Yes. Yeah. You love Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters so Stripes, Animal Isle. You did those. Stripes is a fun movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Stripes is fun. I didn't see Ghostbusters. The first time I saw Ghostbusters was like five, six years ago. I remember that. You borrowed it from Dave. Yeah, I yeah. still got it. I tried to return it to Dave. He's like, just keep it. Just keep it. Get this out of my... Maybe he knows something that we don't. I think Dave just wanted to clear out, <laughs> get rid of some stuff. Make it's it easier just, for me to move. <laughs> yeah, he just, yeah, he just wanted to get rid of It's only a DVD. Yeah. It's not even, it's not even a Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, we, we, we talked about the nurse. And I mm-hmm. want to go back to the scene you said, oh, yeah. favorite scene. Yes. So, the nurse... She has survived through quite a bit. She's been attacked a few times. She's had she survived like two attempted rapes. Well, I think she got raped on the second one. She must there was some kind of fluid. Exchange. Some yeah yeah, some, yeah definitely. Well, we see that they can just they'll just do like a kiss and oh, it'll mouth. go yeah. through the mouth. I think that's might have what happened. Yeah, but the nurse she had the the first attempted rape. Then the, she was with the old people. There was an attack there. She runs away. Yes. She, she's in the fucking. She goes down into the basement and she sees where the doctor had killed that black dude and oh, just fucking yeah. caved in his skull. Yeah. And then she got blood. And she's like, I'm getting the fuck out. So she goes to the parking garage. While getting into the car in the parking garage, guy goes to rape her. Yeah. So she's, dude. Yeah. Yeah. So she, he jumps on her. On the on the thing, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Jumps on her, and then our doctor guy comes to help her, rescues her. They I really down. wanted him to walk away. Just look at it. Yes, nah, and walk away. It's like, I can't deal with this anymore. I'm, I'm done. I'm gonna go away. <laughs> but then he takes her, and she's just acting weird. Like I said, nervous. It's like she's not saying anything. Yeah, she's just sitting there. Yeah. Which is what our other guy did. He just would sit there a lot. And then they're down in the basement, and she starts to come on to him and start to say the same kind of shit. Yeah, the weird, like, it's erotic. Our skin's erotic. Everything's erotic. When you breathe, it's erotic. When we're alive, it's erotic. Old just skin's erotic. Existence is erotic. Yeah, it's all sexual. I want to make love. <laughs> It's like, you've been saying this to me for years, and I've ignored it. <laughs> What's different now? But she goes in to kiss, and then the fucking, the, the slug comes out of her. Yeah, head. and he just, bang. And you timed it perfect. You were like, bitch. <laughs> and he just hits her in the face. <laughs> that was the funniest part. But with your commentary, yeah. if that hadn't been in there, it would have been nearly as funny. You're like, bitch. And it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> she she looked as ship as ship yeah, I can't talk as if she was knocked out. So he puts like the 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 uh, yeah, like cloth t- around her mouth. Yeah, he ties her mouth up, and then he's dragging her, but she's kind of walking wrong yeah. and like putting her hands up onto the steps. Yeah, to yeah. Help. she's like, and then she's awake. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But I want to get, let's get to the final scene, yeah. which is great. So we see, uh, we, we forgot to mention uh, the, the one dude, the lame, the guy, oh, the insurance lame salesman insurance guy, dude. his wife, yeah. who is all worried about him and shit. She gets infected by yeah. the, the, her friend, who's the, the lesbian. Yeah, she has very dirty feet. I don't yeah. know why. It's 
weird, but yeah. But he tries to run away, and then he runs out of the parking garage, and then he ends up in the pool, and the two of them are in the pool, you know, nipples and breasts yeah. in the Stall pool. Wet. Yeah. He tries to run outside, and then as he runs up the hill... <laughs> the weird hill that looks like... The perspective is weird, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then all these people come out of the... That were in the building darkness. earlier. Yeah, yeah it, that doesn't make any sense. But. It's the 70s. Yeah. they got to make it weird. He runs back inside. He gets dragged into the pool. Uh, the hot nurse starts making out with him while everybody's just like... Whoa. They're all wanting to make out with It's like a gangbang zombie yeah, a, thing. Yeah, giant zombie gangbang. I mean, thing. if you want to see that for real, we could watch Lust of the Dead. Oh, <laughs> we don't want to, it's terrible it's really terrible it really is just gangbang rapes is that is that the Japanese one yeah oh, okay there's yeah, a trilogy yeah. I bought the three pack that's right I remember you said it's terrible the movies yeah. yeah and your wife will have to not be in the house because <laughs> it literally is just just a porn of zombie gangbang it's bang. it's like it doesn't show penetration it's yeah. like as, as hard soft core as you can get yeah with gangbang rapes so you see but it's zombie rape it's yeah. zombie rapes yeah instead of like zombies eating you they just they eat rape. you out yeah 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 and then they rape yeah they basically yeah <laughs> perfect it's like that so this movie is kind of like that yeah it just doesn't really go that far in the explicit, yeah. in the explicit realm but our our last guy standing, the doctor gets he gets infected with the parasite, yeah. and then we see him driving away. When Everybody drives away. They're driving back to the earth. It's like invasion of the body snatchers. They're driving away to infect everybody else, but they got this fucking weird parasite that this doctor created that makes you crazy and horny. So terrible. But that's it. Yeah, it's awful. He thought because and the one doctor said he said that. Humans think too much, and they need to. They need to get back <laughs> to their more basic instincts. I forgot that part. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. Right. You want to give us a score? Yeah, on this? I'm gonna give it a three point five. Just uh, mainly just because like the first like three fourths of it is kind of drawn out to me. I don't think it was that long in the movie, but it felt kind of longer. It's about an hour and a half. Yeah. So, I mean, it's not too long a movie, but just that first three fours, yeah. it's just, it just kind of drags along. Just kind of speed it up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I would be cool with it. But, yeah. The last quarter of it is where it's at, for sure. I That is exactly the, the, the score I was going to give it. Three and a half. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not amazing. It's just sort of... You, you got to take into account the fact that it's 1977 right. to some extent, you know. And in some in some sense, you have to, I have to separate myself from the things I've seen before. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You got to try to. Okay, I just look at it for this. I try to be objective and just look at this. How entertained do I feel? Mm -hmm. And I was on the verge of getting bored, but there would always be something that yeah. would bring me back in, you know? Yep. <laughs> so that's what bumps it up to a three and a half yeah. uh, versus a three or even, a, you know, I, at the very beginning, you know, it could have been a two. Yeah. When you started out, you're like, oh, man, I don't know. But, you know, it, like I say, it trickles things out to you. Yeah. The, the fucked up, interesting stuff. Um. All that weird Peter shit that happens. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just does. Yeah. And there, there's some like, there's some like weird nipples. Every nipple you see is kind of weird. They're very unique. These nipples. Right. Yeah. You got like the puffy nipples. You got the the, the, the tea the, the tea cup nipples. Yeah, tea, tea saucer. Cup. Yeah, tea saucer nipples. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's all these weird things. There's, it's not very gory. There's some blood. Yeah. You see Bush at the end. Towards saw, the end of I the missed yeah. I missed the book. Well, if you watch it again, full scenes, top left corner, you yeah. see the girl just run towards the pool. I'll get know. that I'll get that put on repeat. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm pretty sure it's whatever that, uh, what are those called? That they wear in the movies? Merkin? Yeah, Merkin. <laughs> pretty sure it's Merkin. I don't know. There's no way, but 70s, 70s, everybody had a bush. Could, yeah, it could be. That was a Hail Mary. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, no, no. I think I think Shivers is worth watching. There you go. Oh, oh, I thought we were done. We are done. Oh. That was my closer. Oh, yeah. It's worth watching. Yes. Watch it. Watch Shivers. Go watch it. Yeah. <laughs>